So years ago when my weather station was new and bright and shiny and white in the sky, uh, it looked a lot like this. Uh, nowadays, it looks more like this. Yeah, so this is what being out in the weather and having birds use it as a toilet will, will do for it. Uh, but I don't really care that much about the appearance. Uh, really what I'm concerned about is that it's not working all that well. Um, so I had two problems with this. This bottom uh, piece here, it contains the uh, temperature and humidity sensors. Uh, and I had to replace that about a year ago with some help from Ambient Weather. But that's actually not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about uh, some of the bearings uh, going bad on the, the, the uh, staff up at the top. So here I'm just removing the six screws that hold the body together and then I'll start to tear down the, the staff where the bearings are. Yeah, I apologize for this video. I'm trying out this head-mounted camera and I'm not really thinking I like it very much. Okay, here the two halves of the body come apart and uh, now I can start to tear down the staff by uh, using a one and a half millimeter hex wrench uh, to remove this arrow which indicates the wind direction. And then, um, and then you start to see the stalk, which is held together by some uh, spring clips. Okay, so this top piece is held on by two Phillips screws, as well as a spring clip right at the top of the stalk. I didn't get any video of the, the spring clip, but it's right here. Okay, with the spring clip and the two Phillips screws removed, this top piece comes right off. And then there's another piece underneath that also just slides right off. So I added this little close up here just so you could see that uh, spring clip. Uh, so this has to be removed in order to slide those uh, wind cups off. So here I'm removing this uh, little shaft that goes uh, inside that stalk. And um, I, I just pulled that out so that I could grease it and uh, check it for burrs and that sort of thing. So here we finally got into the bearings. There's one on the bottom of these wind cups, um, and there's one on the top, and then there's also one uh, embedded in this, this piece right here. Um, so those are the three that I had to replace. So I'm, now I'm gonna pull those out and then start to take measurements of them. Okay, with the new bearings in place, I started to reassemble. Uh, got the wind cups on and, and had put that snap ring on. And then these other pieces of the stock just simply slide on. And then, uh, of course, with this piece, I had to put that snap ring back in place. And I had a lot of problems getting the snap ring, partly because when I'd taken it off, I'd bent it a little bit. So I had to bend it back into place to, to make it work. Okay, with the snap ring on, then I just had to put the two Phillips screws back in place. And then uh, once that was done, then I could put the, uh, the Windex on top and tighten that with the hex wrench. Um, and then uh, basically the stock was back together. Okay, then I just did a quick check inside the body to make sure there wasn't anything uh, wrong in there, any obstructions. And then it's really just time to put the six screws back in that hold the body in place. So with the body back together, I thought I'd just take a quick look inside the battery compartment. Uh, there are three rechargeable batteries that get charged by the solar cell in here. And I just wanted to see if there's any corrosion or um, any uh, damage. And it looked really clean. The weatherproofing uh, really must be holding up well here. So uh, with that, then I think it's time to just put it back together again. I did a quick check and uh, everything looked good. So we're gonna call it done.